Okay, so we're just going to do a quick overview of, um, I guess, what StreamYard looks like on the mobile. Uh, as you can see in the right side, I'm just going to navigate through some of the menus. So once you have your guests and your host inside, you can invite more guests, which can be seen here, and then click the invite the guest button. So tiny, but let's do this. Let's make sure that the person on the or the guest PC is solo. So to get that, you kind of push the solo button on the person you want to solo and select solo. So now the guest PC solo is now able to see what the mobile phone looks like. I remember in order to achieve the screen sharing the phone, you need third party tools to be able to see that. Um, so I'm screen sharing the phone to just show people how StreamYard tools look like. So in the bottom part here, it says more. And there's other options that you can choose layout. So you can do the layout and so, and then select different layouts that is possible on the phone. We'll just go through them. Uh, we don't have a screen sharing option, which is this. So there's no screen sharing. Now, again, the screen sharing is only available on PC. This is both the screen sharing and layout um, button. And this is for this layout is the, the guest layout, I believe. So the guest will push to the right. And, and you can see that in the stream live, actually. Uh, we can't tell on it was being displayed on production, but because it's a little too tiny. Um, this is both the layout for uh, guest and host. This is a tighter shot for guest and host, and then just soloing the host. But then again, like, like I said, it's very difficult to see what the controls look like on the wall when you're moving. But we'll do my best here. So let's solo the phone again. I guess push the button. Solo the phone. And again, we looked at the layout example of the different ways. You can also look at the broadcast info. Uh, but while you're broadcasting, let's actually look at the banner she can put up. So um, these are the different banners that I, I, I believe I had. And I think I selected this one. And then I created one that said, uh, I believe screen sharing. So here's a, a little bit of tips. To be able to edit the banners, make sure it's in portrait mode. So for example, if I wanted to edit this and select the edit button, I just add live. So from a book, we could just say using mobile and then push the enter button here. So the apps I'm using is, so there you go. So it has to be in portrait mode to be able to adjust the banners. So here's a little tip for you mobile users out there. If a host is on mobile, do not leave the dashboard or you'll be removed from the broadcast. I'm trying my, my, my best not to leave this broadcast and just to verify that I'm still in it and actually remove the solo layout. And as you can see, I'm still there. So as long as the host is still in the broadcast, you should be able to control 
or not just control, you should be able to also have audio and control the uh, the layouts of the stream. So this right now we're just going through the banners like so. Um, so again, you have to place it in portrait mode. Then you can adjust the branding as well. So instead of it being that blue text stuff, it could be minimal. They added a bubble, which is pretty neat. But I like the top. And you can change the layouts. Uh, of course, you can add more icons to your stream with the paid version. Uh, let's go to banners and comments are live, but they you used to be able to enter comments. You can enter comments as a host on a PC, but not when you're live. Okay. So I guess that's for now. That's all you can do. Um, Getting into the setup, there's extra steps, which I'll probably prepare for you later. But that's what the dashboard looks like from a mobile perspective. Uh, thanks again for watching. Uh, this was a good stream. And I'll see you next time.